Hey, what's up guys? Pokemon Freak here and today we're going to take a look at some wars and also I'm going to explain to you guys what I think an engineer is. So as you guys know, my clan's a Town Hall 8 warring clan and I'm going to explain to you guys what being engineered means because honestly, we've been getting a lot of good wars and a lot of the times our uh, engineers don't get three star but I'm about to show you guys because this happens a lot and I know a lot of people said when you engineer you're giving up your defense for a good offense but that's not necessarily true because again time after time we've proven that wrong simply because a lot of the times our engineers don't get three star and it's not because the opposing team sucks at attacking but it's actually because our defenses are too strong for a Town Hall 6. And I do believe uh, engineering is a strategy because you're playing the game not by the rules that were given to you, but actually by weighing everything. Like you weigh your defenses just to see how low can you stay, but at the same time having some way to defend against these opposing teams. And you're kind of strategizing to see how low you can stay, but at the same time be strong. This is my way of engineering. And when I started engineering, you know, this is what I always thought it would be. I don't see a lot of people use these strategies where you use walls to guide their giants so they'll step on set traps and leave their archers, wizards wide open for the Teslas. Because as you guys know, a level 6 Tesla is a really strong weapon. Alright guys, this is a different war and as you guys can see, our top two players got 3 starred and they're max town hall 8s and again, our engineers remained un 3 starred. And a lot of the times, our bases are underestimated where we get people from the bottom coming to the top. But as you guys can see here, this is just a mirror attack. And this guy, as you guys can see, he's using 4 dragons. But I already knew he was going to fail because 4 dragons is 80 spaces. That's 80 spaces wasted. Why? Because there's 5 black air seeking mines. And as you guys know, those seeking mines are very powerful that each one's able to wipe out 1 dragon. So that's, I have 5. That's enough to wipe out 5 dragons and he's only using 4. Not only that, he's also using 7 balloons. Again, it's not that it's wasted space, but... Those balloons are no match for the little red bombs because uh, those wipe them out with just one. And this account had them upgraded all the way. And also, my skeleton traps are set to air. And again, balloons don't attack skeleton traps. But as you guys can see, my Teslas are just wiping them down. And my air defense, he didn't destroy it and they're just going around it. And he underestimated this base because, again, all his dragons just went around that one air defense. That air defense wiped out all his troops. And he should have just done one raid, either ground or air. He shouldn't have done both because there's a lot of traps. This is what I mean when people underestimate engineer bases because this account had strong defenses but had the weight of a Town Hall 7. He got attacked by a Town Hall 7 and that Town Hall 7 lost against this base design. Alright guys, so now we're going to take a look at our next engineer base attack. And as you guys can see here, he's using... A hog raid and again he underestimated this base because he only brought one heal spells and his hogs are level one and there's five giant bombs here giant bombs do massive amount of damage to the to those hog riders As you guys can see he also brought two healers and that's kind of like a waste of space because again healers can activate those air mines and those are the only troops flying troops he brought so of course they're gonna hit him no matter what and as you guys can see, his hogs got eliminated right off the back, and he didn't lure out my clan castle troop. So as you guys know, he, the, that dragon is just gonna wipe out a lot of his troops. But again, my giant, my dragon goes down, and there's still all those traps in between my base. There's the giant bombs, the spring traps, and then the little bombs. And there's still those Teslas he has to deal with, and I surrounded my Teslas with storages because they have a lot of health, and that'll do more damage. And as you guys can see, this was their number 5, one of their top attackers who attacked our engineered bases. And this happens a lot where a lot of their top players have to come down to 3 star our engineered bases. And as you guys can see here, he barely got the 1 star with the 51%. Alright guys, so this is the last replay we're going to take a look at so we can keep the video short. And to me, engineering is a formal strategy because we're giving up a lot of our defense to have an advantage in offense. But at the same time, keeping a lot of that defense to help us defend against our mirrors or weaker town halls and if people don't believe you how strong engineering is you guys can show them this video because not only are we able to three star their top players we're also able to defend against their players
I will be making more videos like this, but for now, I'm just going to end it here, guys, so I don't keep the video running for too long. If you guys like what you saw, please hit that like button. You guys don't want to miss my next video, please hit that subscribe button, and a new episode on shit stains will be coming out soon. Anyway, guys, Pokemon Freak, out.